A seventh round of United Nations-backed Syrian peace talks began in Geneva, boosted by the news of a fresh ceasefire in the southwest of the country. The truce was brokered by US, Russian and Jordanian diplomats last week and announced at the G20 summit on Friday. The UN believes it's a step in the right direction. But the UN Special Envoy for Syria, Stefan de Mistera, played down the chances of further significant progress in the coming days. We are not expecting, therefore, breakthroughs because we are part of all this and we want to be supporting all this. But some incremental development, yes, as we have seen for Astana. And we are doing a lot of homework and we plan to do it during these days. The talks will again focus on four key areas. A credible non-sectarian transitional government, a future constitution, free elections within 18 months, as well as a united war against terrorism. But the main Syrian opposition group, the High Negotiations Committee, says the talks are unlikely to make much progress in those areas. Uh, too many things are happening and uh, too many hands are getting into the uh, skies of Syria and the ground of Syria actually. And the uh, saga has been on for about seven years now. We uh, hope that uh, the regime uh, would at a certain point uh, uh, get serious and get involved in the uh, peace talks. The Syrian government delegation and the opposition groups are not expected to hold face-to-face -face talks during the week. So a seventh round of UN-backed peace talks get underway, but with low expectations of a significant breakthrough. But those here hope to at least maintain the momentum created by that ceasefire. Dan Williams, CGTN, Geneva.